Hello, today, how to keep your mind sharp memory is a fascinating aspect of our lives, a bridge between the past and the present. Recent studies have shown that practicing memory exercises, such as learning a poem or recalling information, can benefit cognitive health in elders. These activities stimulate the brain, helping to preserve memory function and even potentially delaying the onset of cognitive decline. It's more than just remembering words. It's about keeping our minds sharp and engaged. I recently embarked on my own memory journey, learning the poem Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. I chose a peaceful environment, free from distractions, and read the poem three times a day, each time going over it three times. But here's the key. I didn't push myself too hard. I simply let the words settle in, respecting the natural process of learning. One important aspect of memory practice is understanding that rest plays a crucial role. During sleep, our brains consolidate information, making it easier to recall what we've learned. This is why a gentle approach, repeating without pressure and allowing for rest, can be incredibly effective. And here we go, my process. After day one, I had written down the first eight lines and I noticed I made two small errors. It was a reminder that the learning takes time and mistakes are just part of the process. After day two, I decided to challenge myself by writing down all 16 lines of stopping by woods on a snowy evening. I made 12 mistakes, more than I expected, but I knew this was just part of the learning curve and it motivated me to keep going on day three. This time, when I wrote down the 16 lines, I only made one mistake. It was a significant improvement and I could feel the words becoming more familiar, more a part of my memory. By day four, the poem felt like second nature. I wrote down all 16 lines with a 100% accuracy. It was a rewarding moment, proof the persistent and patience really pay off. After day three, I realized I had already memorized the entire poem. Day four, was about mastering it, refining my recall and enjoying the rhythm and meaning of the words. It was less about memorization and more about truly connected with the text. So, take a moment, choose something you love and start your own journey of memory. It's not just a task, it's a celebration of the incredible capacity of the human brain.